guys. So I read the most interesting story about um, a elaborate trap. Uh, so it's by Washington Post. I'm gonna have the link below. It's so hilarious. I'm gonna have like very like funny li uh, little comments and things because like it's a clueless detective making like quotes, like really nerdy quotes that make Magic players kind of look bad. And then Revenge of the they call it Revenge of the Nerds. Um, there's so many funny comments. I, I remember one of the quotes, and I'll have it like you know float. I'll have these random quote quotes because it, it was all hilarious to me. So a person um, had his magic card stolen, and he contacted the police, and they did kind of um. It reminds me of that one show, like when I was a little very young. Um, it was like to catch a predator. <laughs> Instead, it was like to catch someone who sold a magic card. And yeah, so that was what they did. They are to catch one someone who stole a magic card. And they made an announcement to the 20 people at the store. This was the funniest part of it. They made an announcement for the 20 people at the store saying, oh, you know, it's not safe. You know, if you want to leave, you can leave. And then everyone at the store was like, oh, we're going to stay because we're going to support. And the, like, it was like, it was so funny. I can't like summarize it. I, I'm going to read directly from it. Um, yeah, it's it was a, so you got a clueless detective. You have a elaborate trap with like detectives in uh, plain clothing. Um, you have Washington Post going berserk on Revenge of the Nerds or nerdy games or this and that. And so the way that Washington Post writes this article just makes it looks even nerdier than like I would have ever imagined you could make a Magic the Gathering. And it's again, it's Magic the Gathering. Um, definitely read it. Like, uh, I, wow, it's hilarious. I mean, you got a detective who knows nothing about magic cards, pretty much assuming that everyone who plays this game is, you know, a nerd or a geek or, you know, in many aspects. I think he kind of treats it as, um, like if they're children or something, which they're not, but. And I, I, it's all summarized by like the one thing he's talked. So he's like, okay, so this guy who's going to try to sell magic cards, who stole the magic collection, is going to come in the store and sell magic cards. If you guys want to leave for your own safety, you can leave. And everyone's like, oh no, we're going to stay because we're like extra cool and we're going to like. And then like the guy like was cried or something. I don't know. It was the most. I read it a while back and I just wanted to bring it up because it was uh, it's worth reading it's kind of like how what the Washington Post feels Magic the Gathering is it's how like people who don't play Magic view Magic the Gathering some of the quotes and the language they use are very I don't want to say it's demeaning because it's not it's all in like good fun but it's kind of like, wow, this is a very nerdy hobby. And this is how people who don't play Magic kind of look at it. And, you know, I talk to my friends. Um, I Most of my friends do not play Magic. I have a set of Magic playing friends and a set of non-Magic playing friends. They don't actually mix. And I don't know why that is, but they don't. And it's not like I don't try or whatever. But uh, essentially, my non-Magic playing friends, they get really confused uh, when I talk about the game. Um, I do talk about in passing as a YouTube channel, but, and I don't, I think the article is a perfect example of how society views Magic the Gathering players. And it's very, and it's not negative, it's just very, how should I say, it's very uh, strange or very weird when I read the article and I realized, hey, this is how the police view Magic players. Hey, this is how Washington Post views Magic players. Hey, this is how a writer who doesn't play Magic the Gathering would write an article about Magic the Gathering. So, very interesting. Anyway, bye guys.